Hey guys, I'm gonna go over lesson three's homework for module four. Um, and on this first problem, it says, on each object, trace at least one pair of lines that appear to be perpendicular. And um, we know that perpendicular means that the two lines meet at a 90 degree angle. They kind of look like a um, corner of a piece of paper, um, any kind of corner that meets at a 90 degree angle. But this is an example of a pair of parallel, or excuse me, perpendicular lines. So first we're gonna look at this table. And I see a pair of perpendicular lines um, where the leg meets the under part of the coffee table. So I'm gonna show that by tracing it. The stop sign was a little difficult. The only one I could find was here at the T. Um, here on the computer screen, uh, I chose the um, bottom left corner of the screen part. Bookshelf, same thing, just the top corner. So again, we're just looking for right angles. So here on the house, the where the door meets the ground. Here on the xylophone, where the um, first bar meets the top of the first bar. And here on the cityscape, uh, where the buildings meet the bottom. Okay, the second part says, how do you know if two lines are perpendicular? And we know they're perpendicular if they meet at a 90 degree angle or a right angle. Okay, number three, um, this is a little difficult, but um, what it says is that in the square and triangular, triangular grids below, use the given segments in each grid to draw a segment that is perpendicular using a straight edge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how, I did it on my iPad, it's a little bit hard to see, but uh, if you use a ruler, you can turn it to a 90 degree angle to the segment that's already there and you could trace along it. So I did that one here and here as best as I could. And you can also use your um, right angle template to make sure it's right. And then over here with the one on the triangular grid, I did the same thing. Just making sure that I make a right angle to show that it's perpendicular. Okay, next on number four, we are using the right angle template. Okay, so we are going to use our right angle template to look and see what kind of right angles we have in these shapes, if we have any, and then we're gonna use what we know about naming line segments to name pairs of perpendicular lines. So in the first example, for A, they have that CAB is a right angle, so that means that line segment CA is perpendicular to AB, and we use that little upside down T symbol to stand for perpendicular. So we're gonna look at the shape, and we're gonna finish labeling all of the right angles that we find. And here I have one um, at A, B, D, B, D, C, and D, C, A. And so I'm going to um, highlight all the different perpendicular sides with red so I can label them. So I have segment A, B is perpendicular to B, D. I also have that side B, D is perpendicular to C, D. And then this last one is CD is perpendicular to AC. Or CA. Okay, on example B, if we look, um, there's no right angles. We have two obtuse angles and two acute angles, which means there's no right angles, which means there are no perpendicular sides on this trapezoid. And if we look at figure C, it's a right triangle. The only right angle I see is at G uh, O D, which means that sides D O and O G are perpendicular. Okay, on D, there are no sides per se because it's an oval, so there's no angles to be made, so that doesn't count. On E, I just see two, or all three are acute angles, so that one doesn't count. 
And then if you look at F, we have four right angles again, as this is a rectangle. So I'm gonna name all pairs of perpendicular sides. So I'm gonna say side PO is perpendicular to ON. I'm going to say that ON is perpendicular to NM. I'm going to say that NM is perpendicular to MP. And that MP is perpendicular to PO. All right, we're gonna go down to example G, where it looks like there are no right angles. I actually have all obtuse angles, so there's no way for there to be any perpendicular sides. And then on example H, there are a few right angles. Um, they're kind of weird to see, uh, but we have, um, uh, several over here on this arrow and you actually have some of them on the outside as well but I have them right here at Z and Y and V and I also technically have one at T and one down here as well and so now we've got to name these perpendicular sides so I have TZ is perpendicular to ZY and I'm gonna go ahead and name the rest here ZY is perpendicular to y x y x is perpendicular to x w w v is perpendicular to v u and UT is perpendicular to TZ. Again, because they meet at right angles. Okay, in our last page, we have number five says, use your right angle template as a guide and mark each right angle in the following figure with a small square. So all we have to do is identify all the right angles and have and state how many pairs of perpendicular sides does it have. So I'm going to start by marking the right angles. Here's one at the top of the arrow. These two on the sides are not. Those are acute angles. Here's one technically on the outside. Uh, and then I have four on the inside of this rectangular part. And so what we'll do is we will count the number of perpendicular sides. So really it should be one per pair of, uh, or one pair per right angle. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I should have nine pairs of perpendicular sides. Okay, and then this last one says true or false. Shapes have no right angles. That have no right angles also have no perpendicular segments. So um, let's see if we can draw, is there any shape you can even think of that you could draw that has a right angle that doesn't have a perpendicular segment and that's, you can't. So the answer is true because if you were gonna draw something that was perpendicular, it would have to be at a right angle. So here's an example. Here's a triangle, an acute triangle, but there's doesn't have any perpendicular segments because it doesn't have any right angles. Also, I could draw this parallelogram. It has no right angles and therefore has no perpendicular pairs of lines.
all right thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions